In this video, I'll be looking at a strange mathematical paradox, all to do with the humble potato. Before we do though, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Imagine I have a large box that contains 100 kilograms of potatoes. These potatoes consist of 99% water. I leave them out overnight and some of the water in the potato evaporates. In the morning, the potatoes are now only 98% water. How much do the potatoes now weigh? If you said 99 kilograms, then I'm afraid you're wrong. The actual answer is that the potatoes will now weigh 50 kilograms. Don't believe me? Well, stick around and I'll explain. This is a paradox because it seems nonsensical, but the trick is all in the wording of the problem, as is the case with many paradoxes. The question seems to be saying that we're reducing the weight of water by 1%, but in actual fact, that's not what the question is saying. That's not what we're asking. But let's imagine that these 100 blocks represent the mass of the potatoes. We said that 99% of the mass was water. So these 99 blocks represent the water content of the potatoes. The non-water content is therefore just 1% of the total mass. Or in other words, just this one block here. This means that there's a ratio of water to non-water of 99 to 1. So the water will evaporate, but the non-water content is unaffected. If the water content is 98%, then the non-water content must equal 2% of the total mass of the potatoes. In other words, the ratio of water to non-water must be 98 to 2. Or, to put it another way, by cancelling down, the ratio is now 49 to 1. The non-water parts of the potato still weigh a kilogram. So, the water must now weigh 49 kilograms, making a total mass of 50 kilograms. Think of it like this. Initially, this one kilogram of non-water potato stuff was 1% of the total mass. After evaporation, this one kilogram is now 2% of the total mass of the potatoes. Or in other words, this one kilogram is now 2 one hundredths, or 1 50th of the total mass. And if it's 1 50th of the total mass, then the total mass must be 50 kilograms. You might be thinking how can such a seemingly small drop in water content mean such a large drop in mass? Well, let's look at it some more. If the potatoes were 50% water, then they must be half water and half non-water. And if the non-water is 1 kilogram, then the total mass of the potatoes must therefore be 2 kilograms. Well, that was just a short foray into the strange world of paradoxes and indeed the strange world of potatoes. Just before anyone starts looking it up, in the real world, potatoes are about 79% water, not 99%. But then, until next time, thank you for watching.